How's it going everyone? Alex with Jeeps Limited. Today I'm going to be flushing the front and rear diff on my 2016 JK Rubicon with the Dana 44s. Uh, all we're going to be doing is pulling the drain plug, flushing it, and then cleaning it out the best we can with parts cleaner. I'm not going to take the covers off. Uh, it's just a little unnecessary to do every time. I do flush these quite often, so it's not necessary to take the cover off every time. Uh, all we really need here is a ratchet to take the plugs out, uh, an oil pan obviously to catch the oil, uh, we have just over a gallon of ADW90, that's what's recommended to use in these if you're not towing, so that's what we're going to be using. And then I picked up one of these little hand pumps to use with the big jugs, I've never used one before, so maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Um, anyways, I'm going to get started on that, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so hopefully I don't get in the way here, the first thing we're going to do is just take the drain plug off on the bottom um, with just a, a 3 8 drive, I have a little adapter on a half inch drive just for a little bit longer wrench, but it just fits right in there. Definitely a bit of sludge on there, but it's not really too bad. Not really too concerned. Oh, I'm making a lot of sludge on there. Yeah. Oh, well, don't want to really concerned about it. You'll get that sometimes. The fluid was definitely pretty dark. Uh, and actually, it has not been in there real long. You can see it's really dark, really sludgy, actually. Uh, really hasn't been in there all that long. Oh, really bad. I'll have to look and see when the last time I serviced this one. I don't believe it was actually that long ago. A couple months ago, probably before we went to Rocks and Valley, I think. That was actually really messy, really gummy. A little concerning. Uh, maybe in the near future here we will take the cover off and actually clean it out properly and see what's going on in there. So we're just going to let that drain for a little while. Make sure. All right, now that that's just about done dripping, we're just going to take our parts cleaner and we're just going to spray in through the fill and we'll spray in through the drain and just get as much of the crud out of there as we can. And uh, that's about it. All right, well, we're probably never really gonna get 100% of the grain out of there doing it this way, and this is just a flush in like more regular intervals. So we're gonna let that drip for a while and uh, hopefully actually dry out because I'm sure this will break down the oil, which we don't want. So we will give that some time to finish draining. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, so that's done draining. Um, something you could do if you wanted to, uh, you could blow some compressed air in there to help get the parts cleaner out. Um, probably not necessary. No, I, I don't really know. This is the way I do this, whether it's the right way or not, I don't know. But that's what I'm showing you guys is the way that I do it. Uh, doesn't always mean it's the right way, but it's the deep limited way. So we're just gonna reinstall the bottom plug. It doesn't mean any sealant or thread locker or anything. Or not that I know of, I should say. Uh, I've never used any. Start it in there. Also doesn't need to be super crazy tight. Uh, we're going to leave the pan here because I'm assuming I'm going to make a mess with this. See if this pump actually works. Right, here we go. I think the back axle takes about two quarts, or maybe about actually about three quarts, I believe. So I went with the this gallon. Actually, I have a total of six quarts. These poison spider covers, I do believe, hold probably more than the stock covers do. Not gonna lie, this is kind of miserable. All right, there we go. Now it's starting to ooze out, which is how you know it's full. We're just gonna pull the hose out. Actually, we'll get a couple. Oh, sorry, sorry. Really make sure. Here we go. Pull the hose out. Put the uh, fill plug back in. I'm sure with this, there's probably no, no real way to get the oil out. Uh, it's just sitting in there. Interesting. I'm sure that will seep out at the worst possible time. Oh, there's a floor somewhere. Sure. And uh, don't forget to tighten the plug up. Oh, there we go. 
Again, it doesn't need to be real tight. I'm gonna clean it off and uh, that's it. So we're just gonna repeat those steps on the front and uh, we should be good to go. This one's even kind of chocolateier than the back ones. So on the front one here, I'm not going to clean it out with brake clean. I'm actually just going to see if I can't get some paper towel in the drain and get all the smudge out of the bottom of it. Uh, I'm not going to clean it out with parts cleaner because I'm wondering if maybe the parts cleaner doesn't can't dry enough with the cover on and it actually just kind of breaks down the oil. Like I said, I don't actually know 100% what the proper procedure for this is. This is just the way I do it. And so I'm going to skip the parts cleaner and... and I'll kind of be able to see if maybe the parts cleaner has any effect on it because like I said maybe the parts cleaner is not actually drying and it's just breaking down the oil so who knows but yep yeah, I'm gonna clean it out the best I can with paper towel and then fill it up and we should be good to go Alright, well, it looks like we need more than five quarts. There's still a decent amount left in here too that I did get out. For the $2 that this cost, these long little nipples I think are significantly easier to use. Just stick them in there and squeeze. Is that close? Well, yeah, was that close to being cool? Apparently. Yep, 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 just one, one little squeeze away from being full. Either or, those are three boxes that are going to be easier to use, in my opinion. Tighten that up. Wipe that off. And uh, we should be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.